In a recorded speech, President Tsai Ing-wen told U.S. Veterans Organization, the American Legion, gathered in Indianapolis on Wednesday, that Taiwan was not naive to China's intentions. Taiwan would continue to work with the U.S. to safeguard peace in the Asia-Pacific region, she said. Tsai thanked Washington for its continued arms sales to Taiwan, saying it wasn't aimed at provoking conflict, but rather countering Beijing's growing influence. At the 100th anniversary celebration of the American Legion, its leader, Brett Reistag, conferred a medal upon Taiwan's Veteran Affairs Commission Deputy Minister, Li Wenzhong. President Tsai wasn't present, though she addressed the Legion in a pre-recorded speech. Just across the Taiwan Strait, we struggled with a giant that has chosen to use new tools of technological advancement, not for the greater good, but to sow disinformation, division, and discord in free and open societies. As I have said again and again, Taiwan would never succumb to this pressure. Tsai said Taiwan's military procurement was not aimed at provoking conflict, but at countering hegemony. We don't purchase military hardware because we pursue conflict. We do so because we know, as you do, that power only responds to strength. As we face Chinese fighter plans that barrel across the center line of the Taiwan Strait and cut through our airspace, we cannot afford to be naive about their intentions. Last December, President Tsai had received Reistad in Taipei, where she saluted the U.S. military for sacrifices made in the service of democracy. In her taped message, she reiterated that she hoped Taiwan and the U.S. would work together to safeguard peace in the Asia-Pacific region. As the President of the Republic of China, Taiwan, I share in this pursuit with all of you. We will not pursue conflict with China, but we ask that they respect our democracy. We will not intentionally provoke China, but neither will we be naive to China's true intentions. We will continue to work hand in hand with the United States and other like-minded countries around the world. In her 10-minute speech, Tsai focused on the security of the Asia-Pacific. She said Taiwan would never back down against the challenge of Chinese tyranny.